Morning boys <clears throat> and girls, how are we doing? Monday morning, uh, what are we at? 7.52. Oh, what a lovely week. What a lovely weekend. Lots of busy, uh, lots of busy work and uh, a good, good Saturday. <laughs> Despite getting smacked in the head. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it was a good week. We got a lot of work done Saturday. Um, Dan is coming along nicely. He's learning stuff, understanding things. It's just a case of showing him the tips and tricks and thinking sometimes outside of the box to overcome problems. Uh, not sure what happened with the snap-on video. That was a Thursday video, um, which was uploaded on a Thursday, but for some reason, uh, YouTube accepted the kind of upload twice, and then it never went anywhere. So I see, uh, I think it was Nigel's comment saying that he couldn't play it. I don't know what happened there, mate, um, but literally it uploaded and then froze, and then I had to cancel it and re-upload it, and then that didn't work either, and then I did it the third time. Um, but it was over 24 hours to try and get that video to to, to get up there, so apologies if that was late. Although it said snap on Thursday, I think you got it on Friday evening or Saturday even, so that's Saturday morning. It was it was awful, but yeah, don't know what was going on with the tube of you, but it wasn't right. Uh, this morning, for the first time in a long while, frozen front windscreen. Hey, the joys of living out in the sticks. <laughs> Um, yeah, solid, solid glass this morning. Completely frozen over, so I've had to sit there for a little minute and just let it defrost. But we are big tractor. We're on our way to work now. Um, this morning I've got a BMW coming in, which is having uh, a single DIN DAB Bluetooth radio. Come on, love. Um, it's got single DIN fascia. We're not cutting up. We're not doing double then, um, but it's having a basic upgrade, and we've got to do a harness that integrates with like parking sensors and steering controls, all of that fun stuff. <coughs> As you do. Then this afternoon we've got the Smart 4.4 with the Pioneer Evo, the 6.4, the, <coughs> the the framework that I had to build to support the unit itself has failed the glue did not hold so I've got to go back to the drawing board a little bit and figure out how we get it to work and hold and stay so it's going to be a little bit of a testing one this morning or this afternoon when I finish the um, Beamer figure out what's going on with that and then whatever else turns up uh, yesterday over the weekend I did a, a list of jobs from Wifey, so things like putting up mirrors, kids whiteboards, <coughs> no more flat pack, thank god. Um, I had to do a automated heater thermostat system, like a hive, so wiring into the boiler, um, you know, pairing up the controller so that it talks through the internet so you can do all the my phone. Shut up, love. Um, so that was all done yesterday. So a little bit of a DIY, and then we have a roast, roast chicken in the afternoon with all the trimmings, and then just basically just watch TV and chill out. It was a lovely Sunday. Very, very cold now. Um, temperatures plummeted, and it's, I mean, I say very, very cold. It's not, it's lovely. I love it like this. Winter, autumn is my best time. It's my favorite time. The trees turning, the weather getting cooler. No more hot, sweaty workshops. Um, yeah, it's my favourite time of year up to Christmas. I absolutely love it. And we've booked a little break uh, over to Belgium. We're going to Bruges in December. We're going to go do the Christmas market. So the last time we went over to France, we got offered a... It was like a... I think it was like a spend 50 quid or 100 quid in store at the Duty Free at the port and receive like a free day trip. Uh, so we've got a, a trip, yeah, I think it's like the second or third, something like that of December. We're going over to Bruges. We're booking that yesterday night, which is exciting. So I'll go do the Christmas market. So I'll probably change the tires on this for some winter ones, the 
all, all terrain ones that I've got in the workshop that will be swapped over, we'll put the summer tyres back on, chaser will get sawned um, and then we'll start messing around with the Lotus, so lots of stuff coming up. Happy, happy days, right? Hope you had a good weekend. Subscribe account's doing good, we can always go more, so if you haven't, support your creator and do it. Press that button while it's free and they're not asking you to subscribe and costs. I mean, obviously, if you want to, you can donate to the cause, you know. By all means, send me a super thanks. If you're loving the content, I don't mind. But other than that, I'm going to go off to work, get a coffee, and I will see you in a bit, fellas and ladies. Hope you're well. See you in a bit. Right then, guys, here we go. Little Smart 4.4. And here is our problem. So this is a uh, Chinese fascia onto the Pioneer kit because the standard Pioneer fascia is supposed to screw, it's supposed to have two little tabs each side that screw into it, kind of like the Renault Master system, the Renault traffic system. We don't have that option on this, so what I've actually done is used the back section of the Pioneer kit, the side pieces of the original smart car kit, and then we've got a reducer plate, which obviously is for these weird little Chinese nine inch screens fitted on top of this which is then given our allowance for the um for the um pioneer screen but the glue has kind of failed um so we need to take this apart obviously without dismantling it completely and try and fix this back to the front again um and hopefully we can do a better job of it not dropping in fun times and then we've got the beamer outside that's arrived as well see you in a bit Success. It's held. There we go. So it's not the easiest of things to do, but so I've stuck the outer rim and then hot glued around the whole thing. So before we did it in little spots just to try and hold it in place, and this time I've just gone to ham and gone all the way around it and then obviously glued the fitting in. So this part of it is um, the original Smart got the bracketry inside for the 6.4 chassis at the back of the radio and then obviously our screen is in this 10 9 inch Chinese adapter which is now all glued and fixed together again so hopefully that will last him a little bit longer right let's get this thing out next in Beamer see you in a bit right then so this one we've got service light on <laughs> so single din display is slightly failing here but we are going to put singled in fascia in here the correct lead for the parking sensors and all the other equipment and then um steering controls singled in radio going to go in this one so we'll just get this one into the garage little car jenga going on smart car's done i'm happy with that hopefully he will be too i think it's john his name is he's a nice bloke very patient right Get the beamer in. Fit a radio. See you in a bit, everyone. Ah. Right then, guys, there we go. So, fiber optic lead now installed. Fascia fitted. Kenwood in. In case you're ever interested, it's that one there. 225 quid for a bloody lead, but it keeps everything in situ. Parking sensors, steering controls, all good. So, microphone at the top, DAB aerial over there. Um, mid tweeter subs under the seats and it sounds all right to be fair apart from ship music from ship mixes god speed it up so fast you make rihanna sound like a chipmunk sack that dj see you in a bit 
Right then boys, we are done. Let me just keep talking a minute. So we've got radio playing. Right, Monday finished, everything's been picked up. I'm now going to get my ass home because I have I used the chicken bones yesterday of making some stock and do some chicken soup veggies. So I'm going to go to the shops, get some uh, get some veg, nice bread. And that's going to be tonight's tea. But i got to go get it ready. So I'll see you bright and early in the morning for a little bit of stuff on Tuesday. What we got in tomorrow? Porsche. Old school Porsche, nice one too. For a rewire and an hour. Blau Pump Bremen. See you in the morning.